Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at a program that is about to come out in beta from Tweaking.com called Advanced System Tweaker. This is going to allow you to get geeky with your system. Rather than have the program do everything for you, you're going to need to get into it a little bit, pick and choose what you want. This is the way a lot of us old school geeks have always tweaked our machines as opposed to an all-in-one type of utility that does everything for you and hope for the best. Uh, essentially, you'll be able to go through here, maintain your system, pick out what you want to do, and much, much more. As you can see from the front screen, first and foremost is the backup so that you don't make any mistakes. You can come in here using eRunt and make a backup, and you're welcome to go ahead, play with the utility all you want. If you should have a problem, you can come back here to restore. It explains to you to run the executable. As you can see, I have a few backups here. Um, let's take a look. 11.22 would be the last one. So I would just start this up. And it's already set up here to restore. I can simply restore. So if you have any problems, make sure you back up first and come back to here. Your online help, which will not online yet. Obviously, it's still in beta. But shortly, there'll be online help for you if you have any questions or problems. From there, obviously, aside from what's down here, Facebook, Twitter, check for programs, you can hop to the program. You get your tip of the day. You can uncheck it. You don't have to see it. Pretty simple. Now, your maintenance stuff, you're probably not going to mess around with too much right now, but if you want, needed had problems with your computers, you want to check and repair your drive, defragment, uh, remove temp files, do a system file check, you can do that all here. And real quick before you get into the program, you can go back to the welcome screen, your tip of the day. You'll notice add-ons are mentioned here. You're going to be able to have add-ons. People will be able to write add-ons and import stuff to the program. Uh, restore point, which is up to you it's not a bad idea but with your registry backup you should be good to go uh, the add-ons creator so you can make your own add-ons for yourself or for friends uh, maybe you're uh, working in a computer shop you can set up a default uh, add-on for yourself shortcuts to many of the programs if you have any problems your Microsoft malicious software removal tool went off the screen a bit and basically again this is just something where you can sit around and work on your machine if you have any problems beyond the obvious tweaks and the maintenance your favorites, which I don't have any yet, we'll get to that. And of course, your help with the online help visiting the website, etc. Here they are. Right now, in its current form, there aren't a ton of tweaks in there. It's just something to get the program, the interface, throw it out there for beta, he tells me, and see if people like it the way it is right now. Essentially, you can come to anything, add, run, and separate memory space, checkbox to run dialog box. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Seems confusing. Here it is, right to the right tells you what it is you haven't done anything you can click click disable automatic restart in the event of a blue screen at death let's play with this one unless you hit apply you haven't done anything okay so you're good to go also if you wanted to be able to tweak this up and get at this stuff later to know what you did for example play with a few settings at once right click on it add it to your favorites so that you can come back here restart your computer and if you have any kind of problems with your computer you can come back in here and get jump right to it and disable the tweak, for example, apply run tweak. And essentially that's everything. You have your general tweaks, you have your networking tweaks, and there's something where you want to, I don't know, you might remember the old X setup, it kind of works similar to that. So basically you come through here with a complete description, see what you want to do, play around with it a little bit. Again, it's in beta, I've been using it for a couple of weeks, I've had no problems with it. Any problems you, sh you do have the restore through the registry should fix anyway. Should be safe. It's a little geekier. Give it a shot. Let us know how you like it. We're expecting it to be released. I believe he's expecting to release it Sunday the 15th. So check back at Major Geeks to download it. The link when available will be in the description under the YouTube video here, and we'll see you next time.